I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to my sponsor, P2 Collectibles, located at 204 East McGalliard Road in Muncie and on eBay as well. So next time you're here in Muncie, let us know. Come give us a visit. Hey, what is up, y'all? This is Allison Plus 3 TCG coming at y'all with a deck profile of another one of my favorite combo decks of all time. Uh, Master Rule 4 really kind of ruined things for this deck. Can't do the same things that it used to be able to do. Um, said it once before in a video, but uh, figured it's nice to reiterate to make sure y'all know this deck still isn't as competitive, competitively viable as it once was, and this is pretty much just a casual deck at this point in time, but boy, is it still fun. You can still put up cool negates, and now that Lambda allows you to add a Psyframe and allows you to use um, the Psyframe uh, negators, if you will, that you add the Psyframe hand traps. You can use them while you have monsters in the field as long as you have this up on the board. So without further ado, let's hop right into the profile. We're gonna be playing three Dark Destroyer. This should be no surprise. One Forerunner, one Landwalker, Two Delta Shuttle and three Slip Rider. Slip Rider at three is kind of a necessity at this point. Uh, and I feel like it always kind of has been because you need to be able to pop your Cosmo Town or more importantly, pop your Fire King out. Well, really, the most important thing you should be popping with this is uh, Cosmo Town on your turn. Now, obviously, on your opponent's turn, you want to play through the boards, so you're not trying to combo off. Um, and then Delta Shuttle is a card that I, I've been back and forth with playing three because opening it is not terrible. Because if you can open, like, just like the other combos, if you can open up a Delta Shuttle, a Slip Rider, and a Fire King Island, you are good to go. Only one Dark Lady, because we're only making one. There are times where uh, I want to have another one, like, because I want to be able to, um, like, for some reason, I send one, like, send a Sword Troop, send one with um, Delta Shuttle, send one back with uh, Sword Troopers. There are times where, like, Tin Can can... Send like a Dark Lady, a Dark Destroyer, and like another untargetable ship, like Forerun or something else. And you you have the opportunity of adding Dark Lady back to hand and summoning it, but for the most part, it never comes up. Dark Lady at one is pretty fine. Same with Farm Girl. It's just for OTKs. Same as always, you don't, you don't want to open up Farm Girl unless you're playing like a going second variant. Um, it's just a comp, it's not a combo piece. All it does is just allow you to go for game. And then three Sword Trooper. This is the one that costs a lot. A thousand life points and you can use this sometimes up to like five five times a turn. You're ending with like 3,000 life points. But you have a pretty good combo at that point where if you're using this a lot, then that means you should be able to make like a Lambda, an Infinity, and um, a Bamboozle to be able to have a couple of the gates. And... Potentially a Dark Lady as well, because you're using this a lot. You should be pitching Dark Lady to Grave and be able to summon it. So uh, I just think maxing out on this is pretty effective, and I'm not going to say that it is correct, though. I do think there are times where the third one can not be dead, but isn't as ne isn't as necessary. However, it does allow you to extend it into some pretty cool boards, and I think playing three... Um, might be the right choice. You do go through three in some of the combos that I will be showcasing later on. Not in this video. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see these combos because Lambda allows you to do some cool stuff. Two straw man because you, you don't you don't want to draw into this. You don't actually mind drawing into this because you have combo and this. You can just like tag straw man out at, at a certain point of the combo and then um, Guarantee that it's going to be there for either Levier or um, just guarantee another Sword Trooper revival to make a rank three or to revive Dark Lady or Tin Can, which doesn't come up often. Uh, but we're only playing two Tin Can because I still think it is one of the best cards in the deck. It's just in the combo variant. You don't want to open it all that much. Uh, opening it with nothing else to do, all you're doing is just playing Cosmos at that point. So. I think two is good. Two Fire Kings, uh, Arvada and Grunix. Grunix is the one you always want to add, but for some reason, if you draw into Grunix, um, you can do like the Fire King combo thing and then like have Arvada for some reason. I don't know. You could probably just play two Grunix if you'd like, but um, let's say you can't combo off and you can make some kind of like 
Fire King play, you can pop a ship or something at Arvada, normal Arvada, and then you have like a negate on the field. You can just negate, you can negate it by destroying Grunix. Uh, pretty bad play, but sometimes it happens, especially with a bricky deck like this. And the only hand traps we're playing is Gamma because we can add it. Uh, it's a combo deck and a bricky one at that. You cannot really combo off without Fire King Island and terraforming to one pretty much hurts. So we're just trying to mitigate that by not playing a ton of defensive cards. And if we are playing defensive cards, we ideally want them to be searchable. e -Telly, Terraforming, and Set Rotation. Uh, it's just another copy of any of the si level 3 or lower sidekicks you need in the deck. Um, not much else to say with that. And Terraforming, and you have to play Set Rotation now because you absolutely need to be able to get to Fire King Island. If you just play one Terraforming, you're not going to see it as often. So... We're just trying to max ourselves out here. Uh, I think you could... Uh, I think you could play... What's that one where it just, like, sets field spells? I, honestly, I'm not even going to try. I can't remember right now. Um, fire, three Fire King Island. Three Cosmo Town. This is kind of weird because there's only a couple combos where you, you want to open up Cosmo Town and Fire King Island. However... It still extends you, potentially, if you can, like get a Slip Rider, it still extends you into the plays you need. It gets you the card, uh, the cards that you need. You can also Mulligan. I don't know, I still think it, it is a very powerful field spell. It's just outdated. Uh, it's not as good as it used to be at all. But this is the one like weird spot I was having. There was a one point in time where I was just playing two, and I felt like I, I just need... Well, I didn't feel like I just needed another extender. I needed more stuff to put in this deck, but I, and I don't want to play more pilots because those don't do anything. I don't necessarily know if I want to play more ships because this is essentially just playing more ships, but it's only playing more ships if you have Slip Rider. So let me know down in the comment section below what y'all think I should do. Um, but I am playing three Allure and three Call by the Grave. This should be no shit, no, <laughs> no brainer there because... If, if you get a uh, hand trap in this deck, you're a little bit in trouble. Um, Allure allows you to get to your combo pieces, but it also, you run the risk of drawing into like a pilot that you don't want to, or drawing into a fire king that you don't want to if you haven't already done the fire king um, island plays. Um, yeah, it's still a fun deck, but now that terraforming is at one, we have a little more trouble getting to our fire king island. One Lambda, because this card really helps the deck out a lot. Um, we play Psychics, so it shouldn't come to any surprise that this is going to be seen in a lot of Cosmo decks. The fact that we banish them as well. Um, it, it's just, this. it works better in this deck than it damn near does in Psyframes, because Psyframes, you can't really do anything for the most part, and Lambda isn't uh, breaking over too many big monsters. Uh, Lampo for the combos where we need to make Lampo first and then go into Lambda. And then we play our Nightmare Unicorn for spot removal, Triple Burst for back row decks and Sky Striker. Two cards you're not making too much. Borolo, you're making Boral Sword more often um, because you can still end with like a Pilot and Boral Sword on turn three or turn two if you are going second. As the links, those aren't coming up as much because you can kind of just win with your extra deck, just like Cosmo always has always has been able to. Uh, one Levier, one Mech Beast, Grand Pulse, one Gossip Shadow. These are the ones you're summoning the most, especially these two. There are variants of the combo where you're only summoning this, and there are variants of the combo where you're only summoning this. Um, and I will get into those later, but you always want to try to end on. Um, some kind of negate, and this just is a pseudo-negate. Yes, your opponent draws a card, but you also negate the problem monster. So you kind of just decide where that is. You also are trying to get infinity up on the board. So uh, the board should, in an ideal world, end with a um, end with a lambda, which added a Cypherm Gamma, Gossip Shadow, Infinity, and a Dark Lady, which is pretty impressive for Cosmos. And then for just in case, Nightmare Shark for time. Um, if I'm ever struggling, just make a rank three. Poke for 2,000 and hope that's enough. We well, shouldn't be making this unless you know this is going to be enough for a game. And then Break Sword for the sometimes where I can make like two, 
two level threes, and then go into a break sword, pop my own Cosmo Town, and then search or pop my own Fire King Island to um, be able to go off. But if Fire King Island's on the board and this is on board, it's usually not the best. So try to pop your Cosmo Town, or just if you're going second, it's um, good. So it, it's just the, these cards. These cards right here play dual purposes. They can be extenders because they're popping your Cosmo Town, and they can be defensive cards because they're popping your opponent's stuff. And like I said, this should be no surprise. Infinity. And then OG Package, Volcasaurus, and Gaia. You can do a lot of damage with this and then um, poke for even more damage. Uh, but for the most part, it is still kind of a bricky deck, and it is a combo deck, um, but it is still very fun. The I don't want to hear anyone be like, oh, man. This deck is... I don't know why you're playing this deck. This deck's too bricky. It's okay, y'all. We sometimes like to have fun, especially in the off season. Um, we like to have fun with combo decks, you know what I'm saying? So let me know what you think down in the comments section below, y'all. Let me know if you think I made any mistakes in my deck building process and I should be playing these cards or this card or that card. Let me know down in the comments section below, y'all. I love these this deck especially. So let me know. This is Alex from Plus 3 TCG. Signing out, y'all.